day, McVeigh, and happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. This morning for our guest smart project, we have two special guests. We have Michaela and Jada here to present their project. It is on mathematics. Now, I love this project for a number of reasons, but one of them has to do with something that's been happening for you, Jada. So, have you always loved math? No. Okay. <laughs> no. And was math a challenge for you? Yes. Yes. And so how did you meet that challenge? Um, I practiced really, really hard. I didn't give up. I, I had a growth mindset. Yes. Yes. She practiced really, really hard. She didn't give up. And if you go back and look at all of the Get Smart shows, you're going to see that Jada consistently does projects for the Get Smart Show on math. And this time she did it with Michaela. Now, Michaela, how did you get involved in this project? I just kind of wanted to do a project because i never done one before on the show. And I just wanted to get on the show to show my... So yourself getting smart in math, right? Yeah. All right, so how did you guys decide to work together? Um, she did the um, equation. She did the equation and I did the bar model. So okay. We kind of implemented. Yeah. So I don't know if you can be able to see this. I'm going to hold it up really closely. But um, you have here uh, area models and um, also the standard algorithm, which is the equation. So it's two digit by two digit multiplication, which can be done through an area model, or you can do it the standard way which would be to multiply the ones then the ones and the tens right yeah. then you would hold the place with the zero so they did it both ways now it looks like michaela did the um standard way and you did the uh, area model correct yeah. and how many problems did you do together so um, we did some of these in class yeah, yeah. And, and then i took the I took, paper home yeah i took it home because we didn't get that much time in class, so I just did these four, and we did these together. Yeah, so this took a couple of days, this project. So they did some together in class, then Michaela took it home, did her part, and then Jada did the same. And then they uh, submitted to the Get Smart Show with all sorts of beautiful hearts and uh, colors and smiley faces, which is the most important. So, what this teaches me, and hopefully you also, is that when something is challenging, it doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just means that if you practice a little and you have a growth mindset, you keep thinking, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, that you will be able to do it. And you can have fun with friends doing it. Plus, you now maybe will start to make some projects with the Get Smart Show. You can recruit more people, right, Jada? Yeah. Okay. So I am super excited about this project and having the two of you on the show. It's your first project, and it's one of your many projects that is proving that you have a growth mindset. Well done. High five, girls. All right. Okay, so we also have some Getting Smart Through Art for today. And so this is by Chloe in room 103. This is amazing. It's a sketch of the Mona Lisa. Uh, and one of the things that uh, Chloe did here is put uh, two little holes in the paper uh, where the eyes are. So it makes it look like a realistic person as if it's looking at you. Very, very creative. All right. Now, moving on to our Wordle. All right. So, again, we're making it a little bit more advanced. All right. So, we've learned that each of the Wordles is uh, going to have a word within a word. All right. And that these are all the same vowel. It's the most common vowel. and It's an E. Now, that's going to help you with the mystery number. All right, so we know that this is a word in a word, this is a word in a word, this word is a homonym. And it's one, it's a homonym to one of the numbers on the back. That should help you. 
Okay. And this little section right here is a prefix with the least common vowel in it. Okay. Now, looking up to the first word, this is also a vowel, and it's the second most common vowel. Okay, so some pretty good clues today. All right, now, flipping over to the back, I said the other day, I said digits, I meant to say vowels. Anyhow, we have two numbers, I'm sorry, two digits that make a number, and one of these digits is a homonym to this word. The other digit has the same two vowels as is in this word. So these two vowels are also in one of these digits. Hmm, some pretty good clues. All right, now time for a mighty kind of one of the day. We've got a drum roll. Da, da, da. So the mighty kind moment of the day is a shout out to Reagan Lake, who made this super cool sunrise. I think it's a sunrise. It could be a sunset, but I think it's a sunrise based upon the colors. If it was sunset, it would be a little bit more uh, orangey and pinkish and so on. But it looks like a very happy sunrise. And then coming from it, uh, it's somewhat shaped like an octopus, which I think is super creative. It says, stay positive, get smart, be kind, and be happy, which are all the messages that we give every single day on the Get Smart Show and in our classroom. And like Jada was saying before, to have a growth mindset. When you have a growth mindset, it means that you take challenges. When something doesn't go well or you make a mistake, you learn from it. You look forward to mistakes because it means you're going to grow. Those are all things about McVeigh and why McVeigh leads the way. And of course, boys and girls, every day is a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.